Hi, in today's video we want to talk about Sparkline in 7.5 version. So we have a table with years, with uh, letters and some values here. So let's see what version I'm using. So 7.5 alpha. So in this version we can insert Sparkline very easy to visualize data much easier. So select the row, right click, Sparkline, again Sparkline. We can choose here the row data, so you can see it's selected already. Uh, the output, so where we want the chart, here. Uh, let's specify the line, how to be, the series, the color of series to be dark gray. And I want to see the high point with red and low point with green. That's all for the moment. So it's a very small chart. What we can do, we can increase the row height. So let's select all the rows here with data, row height and three centimeters. And the same here, column width, let's choose six centimeter. Now double click here and we have this chart, this um, spark line down there. Let's see what we can personalize here. We have values between minus 10 uh, and 100. You can see now uh, I have this value. Let's display the X axis. Uh, let's see by default. So in this case we have the zero. So here I have a zero. Let's change to 80. So if all the values on this row are greater than 50, let's change all the values, we cannot see what is below uh, zero and so on. So we cannot compare uh, the spark line. We cannot compare these two spark lines because we don't know, we don't have a general uh, settings. So let's change here. Let's change to group first. So no change. Let's change again. And let's change to custom. Okay. Uh, so I have value uh, between minus 10. So let's choose minus 10 and 100. So let's write 110. And here the same um, minus 20. You can see now I can compare them. I have highest value in the second uh, chart and I have um, values un below zero in all the other charts, spark lines. So now we can compare them. Let's see what other options do we have when editing spark lines. So we can activate marker. So let's disable, uh, let's activate. Okay, we have everything with red. A high point, let's have marker with orange. So markers with orange, greatest point with red and lowest with green. Let's uh, zoom in. Okay. So let's see what we can do more. Let's change to column. Now I have uh, red, the highest point, green, the same uh, lowest point and all others with uh, the color I chose. In this case, uh, black. So we have value of 20 here with green, we have three times uh, 50. So that's the reason we have three green and this is just one. So I have negative 10 here, it's a minimum, but I also, also I have minus eight on the first row. You can see the value on the spark line. Let's edit. 
So what we can see more, we can display hidden rows. I don't have one now. Um, we can mark the first point. Let's choose gold and the last point with indigo. You can see, I don't know the point here, but maybe on some spark lines, uh, it's nice to have that values in the spark line. Let's uh, disable everything and let's check negative with red. So now I have only the chart and the negative value with red. It's very useful in order to see what is negative in our data. Let's change the chart to blue and negative to red. Okay, very easy to change everything we want in a spark line. What we can do, uh, let's see, we can ungroup. If I selected this um, spark line and I set ungroup, you can see now uh, it's different from the others because it's ungrouped. I can group together, I select everything and now right click spark line group and it's having the same design as all others, all the group. So that was all about Sparkline. I hope this is useful for you. Uh, you can use it in the version 7.5. Now it's in alpha. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.